Hi, this is a uh, quick overview of Vault Replace function, uh, which is a very useful tool for replacing different parts uh, across multiple assemblies in different places. So, quick example here with these two webs, really. Um, as you can see, this web's got a hole in it, and this web hasn't. And the one with a hole is actually used in an assembly at the moment, uh, which is this assembly here. So basically what we're going to do is replace the one with a hole with, for the one without a hole and uh, change it in that assembly as well. Uh, useful if you want to sort of replace a redundant part out with a new part or uh, there's a, a particular standard one that you want to use instead. So if we uh, highlight the one we want to replace and then go up to the edit menu and we select replace from there this now shows us a list of the parts that we want to replace inside the vault so at the moment we've only got that one plate um, but you could add more if you uh, wanted to just click on the add files and then if we hit the next button on that this now shows us the parents of that part or obviously if you had a, a list of different parts there would be uh, many more and this basically just tells us that this uh, relationship is OK, um, which allows us to continue. Um, and this now brings up the replacement files window. So we can see the old file here, which is the one we want to replace. And we can hit browse on here to find the one that we do want to replace it with. So basically the one without hole. And click replace on that. Now we can click finish and this warns us about constraints and things inside the assembly obviously in this case the webs are actually the same size so constraints should stay the same if this had been radically different um, it can possibly break constraints and things like that so just be a bit wary of that hit yes on that and let it do its thing and it's telling you now in the report here that it's replaced references for these parts so um, we can hit close on that and we'll do a quick refresh on here and if we go to the assembly now it's already telling us that we're out of date but instead of the 200-105 plate which is the one with the hole we've got the 200-103 which has no hole instead so if we check this out now And we go back to Inventor and open this. And now you can see the assembly has no hole. Thanks for listening.